All right, kids, this is Dark Devil Daddy, and I wanted to tell you that this Jade Empire game is an essential for any Xbox owner. As a matter of fact, if you've got your Xbox 360 or Xbox One, it's also pretty essential. Uh, you can play it on any of the systems. If you don't know how to do ret um, games that go backwards, mm, no, that's how I'm looking for previous system games on your Xbox, you should look that up before you buy it because the 360 is a little different. The Xbox One was pretty simple. Uh, the 360 means you actually have to have a real disc drive. Now, this game has a lot of stuff going on in it. So it's kind of hard to say, where do we begin? Um, why would you want this? Well, first off, aside from beautifully done graphics, uh, from a time when you could have, like, hot chicks in your video game, because, huh, who knew? People like that kind of stuff. Weirdos. Anyway, um, you got these beautiful graphics, but it's telling beautiful, beautifully crafted stories. Uh, the acting on it is, I'd say, more than proficient. Uh, you know, video game acting, sometimes you get great actors. In this case, there is definitely at least one great actor, uh, John Cleese. I'd swear one of the characters sounds like John Lovett. Uh, probably the biggest drawback for this game, if you are not uh, an adult is that it's got some pretty adult content. Some of it is pretty gruesome. Now, here's my evil girl, and she will ge be getting more evil. Here she is, going through. This is the graveyard, and where is this? Yeah, I think this is a graveyard. Yeah, this is the graveyard area. I'll let you see a little combat here. The combat system's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, this one's set to easy combat. I was just curious. Now, you notice her hands are glowing blue. That's her magic. That's her blue line. And here you've got the creepy little grave digger. And I think, oh uh, shoot. Well, I didn't mean to show you this. So blah, 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 blah. I have no time for this. But yeah, I'll do it. All right. Yeah, she's basically saying she's going to kill these spirits and so forth. Uh, if your motivation is kind of evil or self-serving, you end up getting bad points. If you are noble and, you know, spiritually clean, you get good points. And let me show you how that looks. So there's the close closed fist pointing down above is the blue fist basically it's the difference between Andrew Tate on the bottom and Jordan Peterson on the top same person same or how do I put it you're both going for results but you get them different ways as a matter of fact I've got this one all maxed out to evil I'll show you one that's all maxed out to good uh, beyond your own character development which contains different fighting styles. The characters you start with have different abilities. You can choose one that's uh, one of two that are fast for, you know, male or female. You can choose uh, balanced, which are male and female. You can choose strong, which is exclusively male, or magical, which is female. Uh, got looks like a canine visitor coming in on me. 
I'll show you the maxed out evil here because I wanted to get one of these so you could see the backgrounds. It goes to a point where the maxed out evil is fantastic. She has a way of gaining life force once she's maxed out evil that is just beyond hideous. Um, I'll show you this in a minute. Uh, your interactions with other characters, of course, are going to determine how they interact with you. If you're real sweet on someone, they might get real sweet on you. I don't know if there's any gayness in this one. Uh, one of the games I played through this company, I'm just like flirting with someone because I'm thinking, well, it shouldn't be a problem. And I ended up setting up this lesbian sex scene like, oh, well, that was different. So that may be in here. I don't know. Let's see what we got. And here we've got Maxed Out Evil. And what do you do with Maxed Out Evil? Well, here's something you can do with Maxed Out Evil. Hey, there's the hooker. Oh, sorry, Courtesan. Yeah, this game is full of prostitutes. I'm not sure how full of prostitutes China really is, but you know, if you were in... Uh, okay, here is my neat way of getting health. Yes, I just killed the dog for health. Uh, there's a lot of barrels and stuff that can be opened. A lot of them are trapped, etc. Uh, let's see, aside from puppy killing, there's cannibalism in the game. There are some seriously creepy ghosts in the game, uh, which for me is a win. Uh, dude here. You are not yet worthy of my notice. Bronze will catch my eye. Will earn my respect. Yeah, here is... We're at the uh, Imperial Fighting Ring. And, you know... Just to uh, put it nicely... That is a way to get into the Imperial uh, Espionage Corps, basically. There's also... Or no, this is the Assassin Corps. There's also an Espionage Corps. That can be done a different way. End result, of course, being, though, is you can take either route. You can actually pick up, you know, experience on both of them. There's a lot of stuff in this game I know I haven't gotten to yet, and I really want to explore it because it's such a just beautifully done world. Now, I'm also going to show you that I did a full extent good guy. And full extent good guy is on the Xbox One. So you'll have to give me a moment while I change that over. Bonk! Yeah, so that's pretty weird. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how many games I got all hooked up through this. I'll have to show you my system setup at some point. End result being, of course, uh, it makes it very easy to switch from system to system. Uh, before, you know, I don't know if any of you have ever had multiple systems, but going from console to console is a drag. I hate it. So, one thing I've determined, I think the game looks better on the Xbox One. And I don't know why. So, let's see. We'll go over here. I've got more characters, but I didn't get them all. And I feel like, you know, there's kind of a Yu-Gi-Oh thing here. Like, how did I not get them all? Um, so let me show you what I got. Um, Dawnstar, she starts from the very beginning with you. Zoo, you pick up along the way. Uh, very different characters. She's very open hand. She's very close fist. He is incredibly close fist. He is a drunk brawler. Silk Fox is an enigmatic as she is beautiful. And yeah, she's pretty hot. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I actually kind of wanted to go back and maybe start, see if I can start the relationship with her. Uh, the drunken master here, uh, he henpecked Han. 
Yeah, he's he's not going to be interested in a relationship with you because he's married. Or how, sorry. But he allows you to do Drunken Master style. Uh, Sky here does dual sabers. He's pretty cool. I think if you have a lady character, you could probably start a relationship with him. Uh, this little girl is what holds a demon to... Uh, this realm. And there's like two demons in her. And at some point, I want to see if I can get the bad demon to come out. Because, damn, that's fun. Let's see what I got here. So, yeah, here's like the little area where there's things one can pick up. Here's some baddies I can show you how to fight briefly. Um, part of what's going on with him, if you're wondering, is... He's got a shield gem on him. That's why he looks like he does. Oh, uh, there's obviously different fighting styles. And... Oh, let's see. I'm sorry. Here you go, bunny. I forgot to do that for you. Uh, this has different controller layouts. I'm like looking for a white and a black button that aren't there. It uses the uh, above the uh, trigger. And here is you're able to take up different forms. And this one is just too cool. Bonk. This is the giant golem. There's lots of golems in the game. And this is like traditional golem. Like it's a clay figurine. There's a factory that makes these things. And it's pretty damn cool. So. And we back to normal. So yeah, I just love the combat in this game. Uh, let's see. One of these is bound to try and blow up on me. Superior Warrior Gem. How about over here? Force. Focus evaded. It takes a little focus to evade those traps, but you know what? It's better than getting sprung on them. So, with that, there's huge, rich environment. It has John Cleese. The characters, even the side characters, like side arc NPCs, have terrific story development. There's great dialogue. I just, well, obviously I can recommend the game enough because this is the point where I have to just stop recommending it. Say, yeah, if you got yourself an Xbox, Xbox One or a 360 with the proper drive, I'd say it's a game worth getting. I... I know it's got some minor flaws, but I've been stuck playing this thing for two weeks now, and I want to play it more. And that right there, I'd suggest, just it's got a high rate of playability. It's got an intuitive control system. You'll pick it up really quick. It's got replayability. I mean, that right there is a really difficult one for a game. Especially one that's a story. So, I mean, it just all across the board. Great game. If the maturity facet of it, and keep in mind, like I said, cannibals, scary ghosts, crap like that. If that bothers you a lot, this is probably not the game for you. But honestly, I think for most people, teen to adult, even though it says mature, I think most people would really enjoy this. So thanks for watching, my friends, and goats out.